Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am talking about what is A site and B site open. So let's go toward the video. So A site doping and B site doping is in the contents of material science, particularly in semiconductor, doping refer to the intentionally introducing impurity and to a crystal lattice to alter its electrical properties and some other properties like magnetic properties, mechanical properties. Uh, these uh it's mean that the doping changes in the properties of a material which may be electrical may be magnetical may be mechanical and other properties these impurity can create extra charge carriers like electrons or holes which affect the conductivity of a material and a side and B side doping refer to the different method of introducing these impurity into a crystal. Let me explain it. For example, we have a pure semiconductor and which is undoped. So you see that the structure is like that and have no net charge. As we say that these impurity create extra charge carriers, but in undoped case, there is no charge on this material. So when we doped a pentavalent or uh, trivalent impurity in this material, it introduce charge on it. So you see that when we introduce or we doped it with a pen trivalent that is boron atom, so it create extra hole in this uh, semiconductor. Uh, which is treat as a charge carrier and in the other case when we doped it with the pentavalent impurity so then extra electron uh, appear here which treat as electron charge carrier so move to the next slide in the context of a bo3 compound normally we uh, study a bo3 compound that is the perovskite and which have uh, two side uh, one is a side and b side and the other is oxide maybe uh, some other atoms like halide etc so in a side and b side doping refer to the substitution of iron within the crystal st structure of these material abo3 compound typically consists of a perovskite crystal structure typically abo3 structure is a perovskite com uh, compound is a perovskite structure so you see that this is a site which lie on the corner of atom you know that it each cube cubic atom volume has a eight corner and the a site lies on this corner and the b site is at the center of this cube while O side mean oxygen lie at the face of each at the center of each face. You see this in the figure. So this is the perovskite structure with a side A side B side and oxygen. If this oxygen is replaced by a halide, then you will only replace in the structure also by a halide. So where A represents the larger cation. A represent the larger cation and B represent the smaller cation and O represent oxygen. The charge on A is according to this structure the charge on A is plus 2 while the charge on B is plus 4 and the charge on O is minus 2. When we add all of these it will be equal to 0 which show that the structure is stoichiometric mean the compound is stoichiometric if it was not equal to zero it's mean that this, this compound is non stoichiometric so first i am going to discuss a side doping what's the process of a side doping the first one is substitution of a side cation it's mean that we substitute a side cation by other, for example, we have initially 
uh, strontium here it's then uh, we are going to sub substitute it through a barium etc then it's show that that we replace a strontium by another compound another element so go to the here uh, in ASI doping impurity ions are introduced by substitute, substituting them into a side position of the crystal structure mean that when we want to dope uh, any atom at a side we must substitute them into an a side position of the crystal structure these positions are typically larger and surrounded by oxygen atom let's zoom at it you see that this is the undoped abo3 form abo3 structure uh, mean it is undoped periscope structure and this is the a side and this is the a prime which we are going to dope so you see that in this structure undoped form each corner a atom is a is the atom of a pure compound which is a and in the next step when we doped it with some of the impurities you see this this atom is replaced by the by this a sorry this one so in the same case here here so we substitute a prime uh, a by a prime and the next step we are going to a b side doping initially when you notice in this one at the center of each cube these are the four cube and each at the center of each cube there is a b and we are going to substitute one of them which is the b prime so you see that the substitution occur at only in this one cube and this is the b prime and in the next process this substitution increases and this is at a specific proportion and now it is i think 50 52 or of the dopant and two are the unpure uh, undoped b side and oxygen at at the place now i am going to show you how to balance the charge and mean how to make it stoichiometric it shows that the doping at a side involves introducing ion that have a charge similar to the ion they are replacing it means that if i want to replace a side by another atom so it is must that the charge of the dopant will must be equal to the substituting atom for example if the original a site ion is divalent is divalent the doping ion should also be divalent to maintain charge neutrality in this case you see that the carbon is divalent when we want to replace it with other atom then that atom will must be a divalent sample like this for example we have a lanthanum strontium manganate there's a lanthanum with a ratio of 1 minus x and strontium with a ratio of x and magnesium o3 so in this example lanthanum strontium manganate a side doping involves substituting lanthanum ion with strontium ion to vary the properties of a material if you want to change the property of a material we must imp want to improve the property of a material so we substitute other atoms in this so in this case we substituting lanthanum with strontium so for this we doing this for the purpose to change the property of a material 
This doping can influence the magnetic electrical property of a compound. When we dope a when we dope strontium in this compound, it change it bring changes in the magnetic property and electrical properties of this material, making it useful in applications such as solid oxide fuel cell and magnetic devices. These are the application of this compound. Let me explain the structure distortion. In some cases, we did a mistake or we wantedly want to distort the structure. So, the structure is distorted in some cases. Aside doping can introduce structural distortion due to difference in ionic radii between the dopant and host ion. The one condition is necessary if you want to dope some atom in a host atom host compound sorry it is the condition that the atomic radii of the dopant and the host ion must be the same otherwise it will bring distortion let's check here this is the pure or undoped compound when we doped it you see that when we dope it with a atom which is a radii larger than that of the host ion and it bring a distortion as you see in the figure so this is about a side doping in the next video i will going to show you how the p side doping occur and how it will bring changes in its electrical properties magnetic properties etc mechanical properties if this video is informative for you please like the video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching